Worldwide, life expectancy of older persons continues to rise. By 2020, the number of persons 60 years and older will outnumber children five years and younger. But what is society doing to assist this vulnerable population to live comfortably? Well, that falls under the mandate of the National Council of Aging, a unit of the Ministry of Human Development that is tasked with the coordination and implementation of advocacy measures for elderly persons. Some of the specific areas that we're looking at today, well, we've talked about normal aging, we're looking at how to collaborate and how to get all the organizations together working as one and moving forward in one voice. So there's a lot of, a lot of planning that is taking place. We'll be looking at the situation of older persons across the Belize so that all the brand are up to date and up to breast with what's happening with older persons and the population that they're serving. HelpAge Belize launched a two-day workshop for its board members. It is the largest network that works with older persons through its nine branches across the country. HelpAge has branches in all the districts and in two villages, Hopkins and St. Bite. And in all, in all the, um, the country, we have daycare centers and we have visits, home visits, Meals on Wheels, um, medical clinics. We also have two residential homes, the Sister Cecilia Home and the Octavia Waite Center. And so the, um, the services of HelpAge is holistic. It goes across the board. And um, we are part of the communities in which we live. The Sister Cecilia Home for the Elderly currently caters to 38 resident teenagers. After Chair Bernard Adolphus, visibly upset, says that a recent incident shows that there is need for better access to health services for older persons. One of our elders had a fall, and this is very disturbing to me. We, our doctor, our doctor, and I'm hoping that the medical authorities are listening to what I'm saying, our doctor send her to the hospital. Now this lady is about close to 80, 85 in her home. And after a considerably long period, she was not attended to. She fell, she fell on her hand. When the supervisor checked with them and tell them what was happening, she was told it's not an emergency case. Only to find out later, only to find out later that the lady's hands was broken. See what I mean? To me, to me, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. To me, it's, it smells it smell negative on our system. In the last three months of 2015, there had been an increase in the number of violent crimes against older persons from across the country. This neglect, according to Ixchel Put of the National Council of Aging, is tantamount. That's one of the biggest issues that um, we are facing across the country. I think HelpAge probably faces it a lot more directly than a lot of other organizations because they are down on the ground. They have so many, um, so many branches in the districts. But it's definitely a challenge, and we are looking at things like the Older Persons Act. How do we maintain the safety of our older persons and the care of our older persons Last year, the National Council on Aging, along with BTEC, um, had a caregivers training here in Belize City. We've been working with the YWCA, having caregivers training in Belmopan. So we're looking at building a capacity, a resource of persons who are able to be in the community, work with older persons in such a way. To date, 80% of older persons are living in low and middle income societies. So financing and pension are also being discussed. The facts are damning. Our pension situation is uh, quite a difficult one. Um, in 2010, the National Council on Aging, HelpAge Belize and HelpAge International did an, in a study on a universal pension in Belize. And during that study, we discovered that at that time, about 61% of our population had no pension benefit whatsoever. That even includes the non-contributory pension, which is $100 a month. So there's definitely need for pension reform. It's a discussion that all our organizations are having. Dwayne Moody for News 5.